on Tuesday, September 3rd, two days ago, Infowars.com put out an emergency news release because a high-level source at an Air Force base in West Texas, where the B-1B bombers are located, told us that secret mothballed nuclear weapons that weren't even supposed to be on the base were brought out of mothballs and loaded on trucks. And the police said, where are these going? Nobody's signing for it. The base commander simply gave orders, and everybody knew that this was completely irregular and that there had been a big controversy a few years before when this happened in Minot, North Dakota with cruise missiles. And so they were asking questions. And the truck drivers said, all we're told is this is going to South Carolina, and we don't know where it goes from there. Now, Anthony and I went on to speculate about this being used for a false flag, not just a strike in the Middle East or on Russia, and that missing warheads could be used to basically hold the East Coast hostage, or could be blamed on a foreign enemy, or could be used for a coup d'etat. And now, ladies and gentlemen, news tips came in today pointing out that Lindsey Graham, the senator from South Carolina, that day gave speeches saying that South Carolina and their ports were targets of terrorists and that they would probably be hit by atomic or hydrogen bombs if we didn't immediately invade Syria. Incredible, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you take down a free country, is you have criminal elements within it that hold the nation hostage to terror, that build a police state grid in the name of fighting terror, and then hold that threat over the public if they don't give in to your demands. Just like they got caught staging a false flag with the chemical weapons in Syria, now they're desperate. And now we know that they're actively fear-mongering against the population on the East Coast. And on top of that, there's a giant FEMA drill that starts next week that runs for more than a month simulating terrorist attacks on the infrastructure and the power grid. They're going to have riot police out on the street. They're going to have checkpoints. They're going to have drills at nuclear power plants. All of this going on on the East Coast while this highly irregular disappearance of warheads has happened. And remember, back in 2007, we had missing cruise missiles flown out of the Dakotas down to Louisiana, and it was a national scandal. You do not have warheads that are not accounted for just accidentally being shipped places. This is unprecedented and is undoubtedly the most dangerous story we have ever covered. I do not like covering this. I do not like where this goes. My gut has never uh, been telling me that something uh, was was more dangerous than this. This is incredibly important because the entire world is waking up to the globalists that have hijacked America and the West and that are pushing us towards world war. Only 9% approve in a Reuters poll for strikes on Syria. The, the NRA is suing the NSA for spying on gun owners. It's all starting to come out and the tyrants are desperate. This could be their false flag to bring in full martial law. Or they could be threatening the rest of the Eastern establishment with nuclear blackmail if they don't go along with this. Regardless, this is big. Who knows what they're actually wanting to do with this nuclear weapon, this nuclear warhead. We could stop a potential false flag scenario inside the United States right now by exposing this. They I'm glad, on it. very well said. I'm glad you raised that because we had the case now seven years ago, Minot, North Dakota, the missing cruise missiles mm -hmm. that weren't signed for, and a bunch of people on the base this then is got the, killed. This seems like the exact same thing because they denied it too. And we're going to play one we called the actual Air Force base. Sure, they denied the it. But they denied it back in 2007 as well when those nukes went missing. They said that they weren't missing, they weren't there, they didn't exist. And then they later admitted it. This seems the exact same thing. There was no signature. That's right. They later... They later said that it was um, just a mistake. Yeah. That, oh, we, we didn't sign properly, and then a bunch of people on the base committed suicide or died. So, again, the, the shadow government wants to be able to disappear some nukes that they can then maybe detonate, blame on Russia, blame on American patriots. This could be a globalist coup to hold D.C. hostage. Everyone needs to listen to this. Everyone needs to share this. Let me preface this. Yesterday, actually two days ago, we reported on, the same day this following report came out, this high-level source, which is 
100% confirmed, has repeatedly been correct in the past, super high-level military source, telling us that Dias Air Force Base in Texas, in West Texas, is transferring, was transferring on September 3rd, nuclear warheads off record, no signature. The text says that Dias is beginning to move out nuclear warheads today. He got a tap and he said that it's the first time they've even acknowledged nuclear weapons since the 80s. And key point here, no signature was required for the transfer. It was all off record. This is a black ops movement of nuclear warheads. Now, this is where it gets key. They were shipping them to South Carolina. South Carolina. Okay, this is what the high-level military source told us, that they were shipping these nuclear warheads to South Carolina. Now, why is that important? This new article you'll see up on screen, screen from CBS, Lindsey Graham, Senator Lindsey Graham, has come out and said, nukes in the hands of terrorists could result in bomb coming to Charleston Harbor. Specifically, he's saying that if we don't attack Syria immediately, if we don't go in and have military action in Syria, we could have a nuke blow up South Carolina. It's amazing. Look at this. He says that if there is no U.S. response to Syria, Iran will not believe America's resolve to block Iran from developing nuclear weapons. He then says those nuclear weapons in the hands of terrorists could result in a bomb coming to Charleston Harbor, South Carolina, exactly where we told you they were moving the secret black ops off the record, no transfer, nuclear warheads, the exact day this report came out, the exact day he said this. In closing, I want to be clear about something. I totally agree with what Anthony just said. This is the biggest story we've ever covered. And we have these military and law enforcement sources that come to us because they know that we are unfiltered and that we will release key information and that we're not intimidated by the attack on whistleblowers in the press because I have sworn to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, no matter what happens. But we do need your prayers and your support, and we need you to get this article out to everybody you know. Because as Jim Garrison famously said, they said, why are you still alive? And they've killed hundreds of people in and around the Kennedy uh, assassination. And he said, because I stay in the spotlight. We need this info to stay in the spotlight. And in closing, I want to thank the military and law enforcement sources that are patriots and that understand what's happening, who are speaking out, about the false flags in Syria and who are speaking out about potential mega false flags, nuclear false flags here in the United States.